Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jose. Welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, today, I actually got some new rims for my car and uh, we about to go uh, get them mounted. I'm gonna take them to the tire shop nearby. And uh, they actually just came in yesterday and I was just waiting for my tires to come in and literally just came in a couple hours ago. So we about to go get them mounted and uh, I'm about to show you guys uh, my car, how it looks like right now. So I actually have a 92 Civic hatch. This is how it looks like right now. I actually got these rims. Uh, my, my boy actually, Jack, he let me borrow his. So shout out to Jack. I'm actually gonna put his Instagram down below so you guys can go check him out. He has a 92 Miata as well. You can go check out his build. Well, yeah, shout out to him. That's how it looks like for right now. We got the tires right here. It just came in today. We got some Toyo tires. They're actually 195 by 50 15s. As you see right here. And yeah, I'm about to show you guys the rims right now. All right, so here are the rims. Got two boxes, but it's into the shop. I'm gonna show you guys how they look like before they are mounted on the tires. So this is how they actually come, if anybody was wondering. Um, I'm wrapped in this plastic bag. I'm actually gonna take it out. All right, so I took out the plastic bag and then they also come with this little like protective thing or whatever. Let me just take this off. And then they have another layer of protection so the rim doesn't get scratched up. So I need to take this out. And then, there you go. So these are actually 15 by eight. There's some Vores TR6, four by 100. I actually got them from eBay. And to be honest, they, they don't look that bad. Pretty clean, pretty clean. There you go. So that's a before look, before they're mounted on the tires. And I'll show you guys after, once they are mounted. So I'm actually here at Mavis right now. They're getting the tires done. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot videotape that. Um, you know, I can't be in there, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys after, once they come out. And then, um, yeah. Hey, what's up guys? So I just came back from the tire shop and just picked them up. I gotta say, um, I like how, how they came out. I think they look really great. It's gonna be a nice winter setup. Perhaps maybe um, when the, the weather's better, I'll run a little more stretch. But for now, I'm happy with how they look and uh, I'm about to show you guys. All right, so here you go. Here are the tires. Looking really clean. I'm really overall, I'm just happy how they came out. Unfortunately, they, want, they like messed up a little bit. I'm a little, a little pissed about that, but what can I do? You know, it's not really noticeable, so whatever. But overall, they look pretty nice. I can't wait to put them on my car. Hey, what's up, guys? So it's actually the next day. Uh, yesterday got dark really quick, around five. And it was also very cold, so I just left it off for to the next day, and then here I am. So I'm actually gonna start taking off the the wheels that I have on my car right now, and then I'm gonna start putting the new ones in. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. <laughs> Now I'm actually gonna replace these studs because these are all very beat up. And when I try to put in the lug nuts, they're just all wobbly. So I'm gonna just end up replacing all this and, and the whole car. I've actually bought them already. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys too how I do this. All right, so for the back ones, these are actually drum brakes and compared to the regular rotors over there. But these have two little holes, oops. Two little holes and then you gotta put two screws in them 
and then just tying them until this eventually comes off. So you just let it keep going. I couldn't find any longer bolts, so I'm gonna see if this actually works. But if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to figure something out. Hold on. All right, so how you, you guys can see over here, actually tying them more. And then this starts splitting up. I'm pretty sure now I can, I'm able to take it out. So I'm gonna just unscrew these, these bolts. And it's gonna come right off. All right, guys, so I also got some lug nuts. And then here, I'm about to open them. So here's the box. I got some 12 by 1.5s. Just got them off of eBay. And we about to open them right now. Goes in this nice little box. Got all the lug nuts in there. That's the lug nuts right there. I'm excited to put them on and see how they look with my rims on. And uh, I think it's just gonna go overall as they, my rims are dark gray. So it's just gonna go, we're gonna have to see. I'll show you guys later. All right, so I'm actually not gonna replace the studs anymore. Cause after looking at them, um, they look all right. So I'll just leave it like that. Uh, my friend uh, Jack actually came back, the one that gave me the wheels. Say what's up, that's Jack right there. He's actually helping me put the wheels on right now. That's how they look there. Nice. So yeah, I'll be back when everything's mounted. Yeah. Alright, so the other side, I gotta replace one of them. Um, these aren't looking too good. So I know we're just spraying it down with some brake cleaner, cause it's pretty dirty. This one's beat up. On the keys. So same way they came out is how you put them back in. So right there. The only tricky part is this is actually really tight. So you gotta use another lug nut. Let's see. All right, so you actually need one of these tools. You can get them at, I believe AutoZone you can get them. So then you just put them on top of this. Hold on. Like this. Then you put your lug nut right there. And now you need a gun for this. Uh, so this is actually, what, 17? So now once you have your gun there, you gotta just go here, and then you just torque it down. The correct way, I had it the wrong way. So now, you just put it here, and torque it down. I check in the back, make sure that it's um, fully in. So just do it more. It needs a little more. Just a tiny bit more, and then it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, just like that. Make sure that's flat in the back, and then you're all good. And I just take this off, and then you installed your new um, bolt, bolts. No, all done. You just literally take it out.
And then you have installed your new studs, just like that. All right, so now they're all in there. We actually ended up breaking one of the studs because it was too much torque. But luckily I had more, so we good. Now we're just gonna mount the other wheel in. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, so this is how they came out. I'm honestly pretty happy how they are. This is not the final look. I'm actually gonna paint my my caliper and my drum brakes. So it's gonna give it, you know, that, that little final touch. So overall, I'm really happy how it came out. And excited to go for, for some photo shoots. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I'm always working on my car, so I'm actually planning on painting my calipers and drums next. So stay tuned for that, and uh, see you guys next time.